Hello everybody! In this video, we're going to dedicate this to a particular fabric that is so user-friendly. Uh, most people are probably not familiar with or uh, know that it exists. It's called blackboard fabric. So what it is, is just essentially a vinyl type. The backing is a cotton mesh. It's great for gluing. You can also sew this, which we will do later. So yeah, you can cut this, shape this, make chalk art, you can even make streamers, you can frame, you can do anything. It doesn't fray, so it's great. See? That's what it looks like in the back. Yeah, so what we're going to do is we're going to start priming this. Let's say you got this bread fresh from the store. There's instruction how to prime this. I'll show it to you. So to prime this, you need to rub the side of the common chalk over the entire surface from top to bottom and side to side. And then use a soft cloth, wipe it off, and repeat the process. That makes the fabric ready. Alright, let's do that. So when you do this, you don't have to make it perfect. The idea is to make the surface matte. If you don't prime this, uh, the fabric, it would look a little bit slinky. See? So, this is how you prime it. And that should be, and we will use a sponge or a dry fabric to wipe it off. So it looks like that. Alright, and the fabric is ready for use. Let's try using it right now. We got it. That's the one. Alright, what we're gonna do, what about if we want to start over? Let's do that. So what we're going to do, we're going to get a wet fabric, and I'm going to show it to you. To clean your fabric, what you're going to do, you're going to need a wet towel like this, and we're going to wipe it off like this. And you wait for it to dry, and you start the process all over again on how to prime it by... Uh, wiping the whole fabric surface with chalk. That's it. Let's say you have a chalk pen. So what's gonna happen now? If you're using chalk pens, you don't need to prime it. And to clean it off, you need wet towel. So let's do this. I'm just write something on it like you normally would. There you go. Now, you cannot wipe this with a dry towel because it will not work, or even a dry sponge. See? It doesn't work very good. But, you can grab a wet towel, like this. Rub it. And there you go. You wait for it to dry and start over. Okay, we're going to go to the sewing machine and try to sew on this fabric. I'm going to show you how to sew this on a single layer. So this is what it looks like. I noticed that the stitches have veered to the left. What that tells me this definitely is a vinyl uh, behavior, which means you can use a Teflon foot if you want straight stitches. Now I'm going to show you the stitch where I use a duck cloth. And I know this will behave differently from a single stitch of, of chalk fabric. Okay. 
So this is the stitch. And then you can write whatever you want here. Okay, I'm going to try to sew this on a Brother Computer Machines. Let's see how it will uh, behave. So what I'm doing right now, I'm testing the single layer stitch on a Brother Computerized Sewing Machine. And it seems to be doing well. Alright. Let's cut some of this so I can show you the back side. That's the back side. Okay, so we're going to do two layers. See what happens and pay attention to the sound. It did it. It's a little slower. I had to press harder on my uh, accelerator. But it works. Let's do three layers. See what happens. Okay, it works too. You know what that tells me. Because this rather sewing machine is my weakest sewing machine as far as power. What that tells me that if you have one of those drop in, you, you have one of those mechanical rotary machines, or even more, a vintage machine or something like this, which is a commercial grade. No problem. Even my weakest link sewing machine can handle. So let's uh, get this out of the sewing machine. I'll show you the stitches. And I actually like it. So here you go. Stitches on your blackboard fabric. Okay. I hope you learned something from this video. And thank you for watching.